Falls are alarmingly common in the United States, resulting in a significant number of emergency room visits each year. According to the CDC, millions of individuals seek medical attention due to fall-related fractures, head trauma, and other injuries. The incidence of falls in the United States continues to rise with the aging population, with falls accounting for the vast majority of injuries in the older population. One out of every four individuals in the older population will experience a fall each year. The burden on emergency room and healthcare systems is substantial, accounting for 43% of emergency room trauma admissions at OSU Wexner Medical Center and 63% at OSU East, highlighting the urgent need for comprehensive fall prevention strategies to reduce the incidence of falls and alleviating the strain on resources. Untreated falls among elderly individuals can have significant consequences, including a higher likelihood of recurrent falls. Falls are closely associated with fear of falling and post-fall anxiety syndromes, particularly among individuals living alone with cognitive and mobility impairments. This fear can have a profound psychological impact, leading to activity restriction, social isolation, depression, and overall diminishing quality of life. In community-dwelling elderly populations, falls are alarmingly common, with approximately one in three individuals aged 65 and above experiencing at least one fall per year. Unfortunately, falls are often underreported and accepted as an inevitable part of the aging process. Recognizing the potential consequences of falls, both immediate and long term, is crucial to prioritize fall prevention strategies and address the underlying risk factors. This may involve interventions such as balance and strength training, medication review, environmental modification, and regular health assessments. By taking proactive measures to prevent falls and addressing the fear of falling, individuals can maintain their independence, improve their overall quality of life, and reduce the significant physical, emotional, and financial burdens associated with falls in the elderly population. The floor can have many hazards which cause you to fall. Clearing paths in all rooms can make traveling in your house safer. Consider securing loose rugs, tidy up the house, especially picking up loose objects and decluttering walking space, organizing wires and cords away from walking paths, arranging your furniture so that you can comfortably walk. Every year, thousands of falls occur at home and can cause serious injuries. Making small changes at home can reduce your risk of falling. To reduce your risk, try ensuring the floor is free of potential tripping hazards. Install handrails or other mobility devices to prevent loss of balance. Store items in low shelves. Place slip-resistant mats in areas that may become slippery. Several medical conditions and medication side effects may increase the risk of life-threatening falls. As we age, our bodies undergo changes, making us more susceptible to accidents and injuries. It is crucial to understand these potential risks and take action to ensure our safety. Age-related loss of normal strength and range of motion can contribute to the need for step stools or mobility devices. Improper use and safety precautions may make everyday tasks dangerous. Lastly, vision and hearing impairments can contribute to a loss of spatial and situational awareness, making tasks like walking, cleaning, or climbing stairs more precarious. Similarly, certain commonly prescribed medications can result in side effects that pose a significant fall risk. Medications like sedatives, antihypertensives, sleep aids, and antidepressants may cause dizziness, drowsiness, and sudden drops in blood pressure, leading to a loss of balance and coordination. It's essential to regularly speak with your health care providers to minimize the potential for adverse drug reactions. Proper nutrition and exercise is important to maintain muscle and bone strength as well as overall health. By staying active and taking necessary safety precautions around the house and beyond, it is possible that we can mitigate the risks and damaging effects of falls. Besides a healthy diet and exercise, keeping an extra hand free when going up or down stairs or crossing an uncertain terrain is a really good idea. Taking extra safety precautions is never a bad idea as it only takes one mistake to create a life-altering injury. Additionally, create a plan or a fail-safe if a fall or injury does occur. Medical alert systems are an excellent way to respond to fall injuries as they ensure swift medical aid if an injury does occur. Remember, falling may not seem like a big deal for most of us, but in reality, falls may have serious physical, emotional, and financial consequences for individuals and their families. If you or someone you know is at risk for severe falls, please consider taking action to prevent serious injury.
Together, we can help reduce the risk of falls and their devastating consequences.